Hello, Jezebel here with a really quick update. For starters, look at this. It's Viscera Cleanup Detail. We're going to make this place as dirty as possible. Thank you for everyone who let me know and uh, let Metal Canyon and I know about the bullet holes and stuff. Um, I hope we play this again soon. We've just had so much trouble playing it because of how far away we live from one another. So um, there's usually lag on his end or my end, and we just have tons of issues. And I got a hold of the company and... Um, not very many people are having the same issue we're having, so it's probably just internet plus how far away we live from one another and stuff. Unless they fixed it by now. But I'm actually shocked to see how many new maps there were. So I grabbed a map to talk about this that we've already done a shitty job of doing. But, um, yeah, thank you. Oh no, it's a USB stick. Where'd it go? Um, thank you for letting me know about that, and I'll be sure to remember that if we do ever get to play again. What's this? I don't remember that. I'm gonna make you all dirty. <laughs> okay. This video is to first say I'm really sorry to my brother. Um, I told everyone that on the 25th was my um, pre-op surgery appointment. And on the 26th was my birthday. What is up with that guy over there? But on the 26th is also my brother's birthday. And I usually say us or we, but I said me this time, and I just feel really bad about it. So I'm really sorry, bro. Um, he apparently seems unhappy with what I did. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to make a mistake and not wish my brother a happy birthday. It's currently 1 in the morning, and I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I napped midday. <laughs> Like I always have to do. Not much of a fatigue day. But um, I do have allergies like a motherfucker though. Look at that guy. I'm just going to leave it on him. He's like, I don't know what he's doing. He's just crazy. Anyway, this video is to let everyone know about the update about my surgery. And as I said in the other video, if you have not seen it, um, on the 25th I have a pre-appointment about my surgery. And they will let me know what medications I need to stop or ones I can take the night before. The 26th is my birthday, but on the 24th or 23rd, we're going out to... No. The, yeah, the 24th or the 23rd, we're going out to birthday dinner because we can't go, you know, um, during the week. And we can't do it the next week uh, because uh, weekend, cause I won't be home. I will be gone for two days after the surgery. You didn't need to know any of that information, but it's the best way for me to remember what I'm talking about. So on the 25th, I have that. 26th, the birthday. 29th. All right, 28th is the day I find out what time my surgery is. 29th is my surgery. Now, I don't think I can take my phone, but I'm going to ask for pictures or video of the surgery. Um, and so I'm going to ask the, um, him... I'm going to ask the one surgeon I'm talking to on the 25th about that. And then I'll ask my doctor when I see him on the 26th about that as well. Um, I have to do all this good stuff where I can't eat for 24, you know, the night before and all all this other good junk, you know. And they'll let me know, like I said, about my medication. But anyway, um, I got a call yesterday. And it wasn't about the appointment that I need to have a physical to see if I'm my blood pressure's okay enough and everything is well enough that I can actually have a surgery, which... I most likely can. Um, but I got... Uh, the therapist got a hold of me for physical therapy. And so on May 3rd, May 10th, and May 12th, I have therapy sessions. And um, that's not that long after. And the only problem with that is, is I don't have any money for the bus. So I need to... Um, I'm probably going to wait until Patreon kicks over. Because, again, thank you so very much. If it wasn't for the people on Patreon, I wouldn't be able to do this. And I'm going to, again, be getting bus tickets, and I will be able to go to these appointments. There might be a chance that the doctor won't let me take the bus. <laughs> because it's only 12, 13 days out after my shoulder surgery, and I might have to stand on the bus. And that would not be good. Um, so there might be a chance I have to take a taxi or an Uber, which will cost more. <laughs> so I'm going to have to start saving up the money now for that. But um, as far as I know, I only have those three appointments, and they're all in the morning. Uh, I do know that uh, the date after... A couple hours after I wake up, or a day after I wake up, they're going to have me do these, um, like, 
um, grabbing motions with my hand because right after my surgery I won't be able to there's a high chance I won't be able to move my fingers because everything will still be numb so uh, but I have to do that to keep the blood flow going because in order to have it heal properly you need to move your hands and get the blood going because you know um, and then uh, he's going then the I'm going to see the surgeon or a doctor while I'm in the hospital and they'll explain these things I need to do. Um, I read up and they said something about a, um, I forgot, it was called a cryo something. I can't remember the name of it, but it's this strap that goes around your shoulder and it looks like a um, blood pressure, um, the thing you put around your arm. (laughs) Because I cannot think at the moment. (laughs) And um, they're going to put that on, there's a chance they'll put that on me and that will help with pain and swelling and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, I don't know how long after I'll, if I'll be able to do stuff. Now, for these three therapies, I believe it's therapies to strengthen my muscles. There's not going to be any lifting. It's going to be moving my wrists around and, you know, lifting my arm up, my just arm, my elbow, my hand to my arm and stuff like that. There's not going to be any lifting, nothing over my head because they need to make sure it heals completely before I can actually start doing lifting and stuff. But, um, guy is still going at it. Stop it. But, um, I just wanted to update everyone, let everyone know that I, uh, recorded some layers of fear when I was feeling a little better. Um, so you can look forward to layers of fear. Um, hopefully Metal Canyon and I could get you say, no, I don't want to play games with you. I don't like you. And, uh. No, I'm sorry, but it's, how do I pick him up? But anyway, um, yeah, I hope to, to do some more Let's Plays with Metal Canyon, but he's been very, very, very busy lately. Um, if you do not know his channel, you should check him out. He, not that long ago, hit 50,000 subscribers, and that's a lot of subscribers. And that's he still pumps out a lot of videos a day, and he spends a lot of time doing that. And he has a job, and he has stuff he has to do at home, and all that other stuff too. So, um, I wish I had the money, and then I'd just give it to him on Patreon. Because if he gets enough money on Patreon, he can do YouTube full-time. And I w- that would be really cool, but I don't have any money. <laughs> and at the moment, you know, um, I'm trying to get all these videos set up, because there'll be, a small am- there'll be an amount of time where I can't record at all. Um, but like I said, I have some point-and-click adventures, and I'm sorry I'm yapping so much. This is the first day in quite some time I've actually felt good. Um, but I'll give you another update later. Yeah, I wanted to pick him up. Um, I'll... Kill me, you little piece of shit. Oh, bleh! Ah! He's... Oh, he's, he's done. But, um, I wanted to give you an update with what was going on, because I know some of you are interested. Um... Like I said, I might do a vlog before and after, but if I can't take my phone there, I'll do it before I leave to the hospital and then after. And I don't know if they're going to have me do this, but it's so different from 15 years ago. They sent me this really big form of these things I can and can't do. Um, they even made, they even said that um, if it's a normal surgery, someone has, a family member has to stay um, at the place for the entire surgery before I go home. Uh, and then they take me home. But if it's a hospital stay, they have to uh, remain there for the duration. Um, but I think that if, like on the second day, if one of my family members comes, then, then they can take me home. It's so bad that if um, I decide to take a taxi on the way home, they will they require a family member go with me. Um, and I won't get to go home. In, it, I could be there three days, depending on how well I'm healing or how well I'm taking food. Um, if the pain is really, really, really bad, I might have to stay a little longer. Um, but uh, when this turned into a, a, a blog or a vlog or whatever, I'm so sorry. But when I should have turned on my face cam, when I first had my surgery all those years ago when I had the rotator cuff tear, like I said in the other video, those of you don't know, I... Uh, 16 years ago I tore out my rotator cuff uh, but it took a year before I had it fixed and I actually had physical therapy during that time thus making it worse and at the time I didn't have my fibromyalgia or f- some people prefer chronic fatigue and chronic pain so back then it, the pain was really bad because I'm re-tearing and re-tearing the, the cuff you know but not as bad as it is now. Oh, gosh. I think I would have died if I had that much pain back, you know, fibromyalgia back then. Um, but all they did is they gave me this information. They um, 
they I can't remember if I stayed the night in the hospital or not I remember you know, going there pretty early in the morning though and I remember the, the night before they asked that I take a shower was this in my old house? I think this was at... Yeah, this was in my old house because I can... I closed my eyes and I picture what I had to do. And it was my old bathroom. Anyway, I had to take a shower. And um, they gave me this iodine soap stuff that I... Um, it was actually... It was a iodine... It was weird. It was a sponge. It was a kind of hard sponge. And on top of it was a little plastic, like... Uh, container that had iodine in it and I was supposed to rub it on and it would squeeze the iodine and I rubbed all over the um, neck and the shoulder and underneath and stuff and they asked me to do that um, twice I think before I came to the hospital um, and I remember I don't remember not having to eat stuff I think I didn't have to though because it was surgery and they said the surgery took a uh, two three hours I think maybe four and then I remember waking up and um, the left side of my face was numb because I had a blocker. Uh, they put something in my neck, I guess, and what they did is they blocked that whole side. So um, I had trouble moving my arm and my face and I was drooling out that side. <laughs> so when I smiled at my family, I was like, Bleh. but um, and then I remember them giving me breakfast and I was happy because I was like oh yeah I love me some jello and the food the hospital food at that place is pretty nice I'm gonna be honest um but I must have stayed in the hospital for a day because I remember I remember that nurse constantly making me pee they're like you have to pee this much before we can have you go home and I'm like why do I have to pee that much before I have to go home but um and they always have you um and I was like no I want to do it myself you know so I would go by myself and you have to pee in that stupid thing that's in the toilet for anyone out there who knows about that um I don't think I ever had to pee in a bedpan I did not want to pee into a fucking bedpan um as far as I can remember I can't I can't remember that part I remember it going to the bathroom by myself though which was pr a pretty good feat um and I remember being picked up to go home uh, and I had a really old sling and the other part I remember is um having to take the bus to therapy and people not letting me sit down in the handicap area because technically it was handicap so it's a full bus standing up with my arm in a sling with a pillow under it so because your arm has to be so far away from your body um, so it sets properly and uh, you know everything's I'm trying my best to not fall over and stuff and it was great but anyway so they sent me all this shit and at any time if I can't comply to any of this they can can't say no surgery um, so yeah it's crazy that they gave me all this stuff and, th and then I laughed because it says please limit the number of friends and relatives do in the waiting space area area space and I'm like <laughs> like I'm gonna have anyone wait for me at the sur for the surgery no one's gonna wait for me for the surgery uh, because I'm not going home a couple hours later it's gonna be a couple days later I'll be and I really wish someone was there because s surgery is pretty scary I mean not the waking up during it part because it has happened not to me and not the fact that you know some people have passed away during it I mean if I'm on the surgery table and I fall asleep and I don't wake up eh, it doesn't really matter to me because I'm not up <laughs> It matters to my family, though. But what I'm scared of is, um... Just being there alone is scary. Laying there. It's just... The thought of it just scares me. I remember... I remember the, the very first shoulder surgery I had, how scared I was. Because I was by myself. My family had to work. Um, and, uh... The nurse was really nice to me, though. But I was just... You, you get nervous, you know? Um, maybe they'll do the wrong arm, you know, which that has happened to. But yeah, I just wanted to give you this update and, bl and blab, you know. Um, there might be some days I don't do a YouTube gaming video, but I might still do a blog. I might complain about stuff, I don't know. Um, you know what, I think you're just gonna go in the incinerator. Because I am sick of your shit. I'm sick of your sass. You sassy ass, get in there. I can't even close it, I'm gonna go over here. So yeah, um, this has been Jezdemail. I'm sorry if this bored you. Um, if you're not even still listening to this, that's okay. I'm just talking to myself. Um, thank you for all your nice, kind words and your nice comments. Where's the machine at? I want the machine. I want the, the laser. Um, can I jump in here? Oh, well, that's sad. I just can't throw myself in the fire. I'll throw my broom in the fire, though. 
cleaning out the fire. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Wow, that's scary. <laughs> Looks like someone was scratching their way out. I feel kind of bad. I was throwing bodies in there. Any hoot. Um. Die! I hope everyone has a wonderful day, and I'll have those videos up soon. More Sherlock Holmes, I hope. Um. I had an episode 10 of Sherlock Holmes, but I can't find it. So maybe I deleted it, and I just, uh went back to an old save. I don't know. It's been so long. So I'll have to see. All I know is, is I do find out what to do. If, you wa if you've been watching the Sherlock Holmes series, it took till episode 10 to actually figure it out. And then I feel like a fucking idiot. But yeah, um, thank you very much for watching. I hope... I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um... Like I always say, leave stuff in the comments if you'd like. You know, call me an asshole. I don't care. I mean, I do care. You'll make me cry. But if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. Um, if you haven't yet, go visit Metal Canyon. I'm sure that uh, you'll enjoy his stuff. He's currently playing XCOM 2 and a whole bunch of other interesting games, including one that is voiced by David Hayter. Um, if you've ever... Ooh, up oh, yeah, it's up there. That's where it is. I'm too lazy to go up there. Ugh. Yeah, but um, he did a review of a game that has David Hayter in it, and um, if you do not know who David Hayter is, he's the one who's done the voice for almost all the me um, snakes in the Metal Gear series, except for Metal Gear Solid V, which was done by Keeve for Sutherland, which, albeit, like I said in my Let's Play of it, he did a really good job. I miss David Hayter, but I can understand why they felt that they needed a famous actor to do the voice. Um, but also, that's the bad thing about acting nowadays. Sorry, I'm going on around about acting. There's so many good actors and actresses out there who don't get time on screen. And I'm talking about um, Asian actors and, and um, English actors, British actors, African-American actors, all kinds of actors. Male, female, children, doesn't matter. Because people don't know their names. And, um, at least in America... Uh, they feel, and they've done the numbers, and I guess it shows, that if you have people that, uh, the actors and actresses that people know, there's a higher chance that they'll go to the movies. Which is sad, because so many people are missing out on such good movies. Because, you know, they may not know the person who's in it, or the person's a first-time actor or something. I like, I like movies that have new faces. It's kind of hard to watch. Um, what movie was that? I was watching a movie that was supposed to be, like, from the camera view of some scary shit. Um, it was like um, like a documentary, but it was a horror movie or something. And it was kind of hard to get into it when everyone was an unknown face except for the main guy. And it's like, well, obviously I can't immerse myself in this because I know who the hell he is. He's an actor, you know? But um, it just it's just sad that um, n that no one will go to a movie if they don't know who's in it. Um but I believe that's one of the reasons why they use Kiefer Sutherland in uh, Metal Gear Solid V because of that people are like oh I like Kiefer Sutherland I like 24 or my yeah he was that that's not Kevin Bacon yeah so Kiefer Sutherland <laughs> they're like I like Kiefer Sutherland he's cool I might play this game um because Kiefer Sutherland I think is the only guy who's he's the only one whose voice has changed I mean for heaven's sakes um Huey was voiced by the same person who does the voice of Otacon um, and I believe in Metal Gear Solid Five, Huey's Otacon's dad. So, pfft, what the hell's going on there? I thought it was Otacon at first, but then I realized the years Otacon would have only been three or four years old during that time. Um, but yeah, all the voice actors are fucking the same except for him. Um, but yeah, I'm so sorry I'm ranting. I'm actually in. I actually feel really good for once. Thank you, medical marijuana. Thank you, muscle relaxers. Thank you to my subscribers. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who's been supportive. Um, if it wasn't for all of you, I think I wouldn't be in such a good place right now. Um, I do have some bad news, though. Uh, my insurance company hasn't gotten a hold of me yet, so I need to know what's going on with that. I had to renew it, and they haven't really approved me or denied me yet. And it's getting pretty close to the surgery, so I need to figure that out. Um, and I was, I believe I was denied again for disability, so... <sighs> I'll have to do that again. Anyway, uh, this has been Jez the Mail. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, and I will make another video. Sometimes I just like 
yabbing and not playing games. Um, if you want to hear about my pets, I'll tell you about my pets. Um, I never finished that Q&A I promised you guys. Um, I might just re-record it. I had it all set up, but I might just re-record it in a couple days. Much like this, because I was going to make it all artsy and fartsy, but I don't know if I can do it. Um, I just hope all of you have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you guys later, okay? And remember, uh, no matter how bad your day gets, you know, um, tomorrow will be better. Um, if it just takes a hummingbird, or a flower, or a smile, it's, it'll get better. Um, no matter how stressed you get, there's always something that could make you feel a little better. Um, making videos is one of mine, and then singing, which I don't put the two together, because people don't need to go deaf. But, um, yeah. Uh, just remember that there's always someone there who will listen to you, bitch. Because bitching also makes you feel better, too. So all of you guys have a good night, and I will talk to you guys later. I'm finally going to shut up now. Goodbye. Ooh, can I throw these in the garbage? Come with me, flammable liquid. We're going to the incinerator. If I can find the incinerator. Where's the incinerator at? Hello, incinerator. There's the, the, uh, slosh o -matic. I thought it was just like the bucket brigade or something. All right. It looks like Toyota for some reason to me. Toyota. Yuck. Oh, sorry. Look at all these cars and there's a plague and a note and everything. Let's go inside the building. I don't want to look too much into this because I... Oh, dear, it is right there. So we're going to set you on the ground. And we're going to do this. And we're going to throw you in and run. <laughs> no! What are you doing? What did I do? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, fire. Come back to me. I'm so sorry! 